All right, so I'm doing this for five minutes. You have the water on medium, not high, um, and it helps to get everything wet before you put the earmuffs on. Uh, try to get the earmuffs as tight as you can. Take out this guy and this vent cap. This one oil might come out right away, so I'm gonna put the oil pan down. And then uh, that's also where this attaches. So we put this in our drive oil. It's this 90 gear lube, SAE 90. Attach that to the bottom. Take out the top one. Start pumping until we see oil out the top. I'm going to remove the cap, which is right there. Remove that cap. I think cap is loose. And I've got those two bolts removed. The top one, you see that there's stuff coming out there. So I had to be sure to catch it down here. And then the bottom one, we just want to let that drain. Be sure you catch it all. Trim is supposed to be down pretty low, so I put this the motor down about as low as it could go, and I'm still able to to catch the oil here. Looks like it's almost almost out. It's not coming out the top anymore. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay, so this wasn't draining. I detached it. Just take that little clip off of. There's a clip on that side and a clip over here on this side and that wraps around that sits in there and then I just took that and I just dumped it into here as best as I could but if you look down in there there's a lot of just nasty oil that didn't come out and old and I'm going to just stick a paper towel in with a screwdriver and try to get as much of that out as I can. And this looks like still kind of coming so I just want to let that keep going so that's looking much better now and looks like we're done down here this oil looks not great um, so I'm going to put the vent cap well not actually not put it back on yet but keep it off and then attach the little pump over here start pumping oil up until it comes out the vent cap okay so a couple things to note here don't put this in the bottle until you have it attached here because you have to spin this and the whole tube will spin with it you don't want to have to keep turning the bottle over and over and over so first do this one attach that hand tight and then put it in here and then we're going to pump it until it starts coming out up there so here we go, you'll see, so see how blue this is and clean compared to that. And you can see the blue stuff I spilled. I got a little bit in there because um, I put this in first and then had to take it out. So there's a little bit in there. You see how different it is. So it'll be good to get this changed. So here we go. I'm going to just keep pumping it up through until I see it coming out up here. And once it's out up there, I'll put the cap back on, wipe it down keep pumping until I pump it up into the reservoir. I took one whole bottle and just a little bit of this one to get it to come out the vent cap. So I got it sealed off. And just so you know, the, the bigger one goes at the bottom. The vent cap didn't have this little furry thing on top. It's a little smaller. And then I kept going. It's about, you see, halfway down and it's starting to get up in here. But what I'm going to do, because the first stuff that came in was pretty nasty, you can kind of see it's still dirty when you look in there is I'm going to dump that because um, it's got some of the old nasty stuff in it that was stuck in the tube. And then I'm just going to keep bottom filling it since I think I have enough. That way we know it's all fresh. All right, so we're full here. I actually filled up too much and had to suck a little bit out. I got my plugs back in down here. Note that this plug, um, once you take the pump off of it, 
the oil obviously is newer and it will come rushing out a lot quicker. So when you take that off, be ready to plug it um, real quick and be sure you have something down to catch the oil that comes out um, and have your plug ready. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the earmuffs back on and run it real quick and warm up the oil for the other oil change, the, re the regular motor oil, not the drive oil. So for this, I got this pump and I attached the top to this hose and it just goes right over the dipstick, it fits perfectly. In the bottom, I'm actually going to pump it straight into here. You can see I already started pumping and have a little bit of oil coming through. It moves pretty quickly once the uh, engine is heated up. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just going to try to pump what I can into here and then when it doesn't fit, I'm going to put the rest in the oil pan. So that was fantastically easy. Um, these I probably got about... Uh, two quarts and then there's probably another two quarts in here. So um, I need to put new oil in the engine So I have a place to put this still um, But yeah, these were two of these were half full so I can kind of eyeball it and know that I got almost four quarts out uh, I'm going to do the filter now um, This is the one that fits um, And it even says on the box it replaces the see if I can find it here. Oh, right on top. Um, so that one in the bottom left, 358663403K01. That's the one that we need. Um, and I could actually look over here and verify it, but I know that that's the case. It's that K01. Um, so I'm going to put some rags down. Here's the oil filter. Put some rags down. Um, pull that out. And then I might actually still take the oil drain plug off the bottom with some rags and just get whatever is still down in there out. Just to, I'm, I'm curious. So we'll see. Say real quick when putting this oil filter on, I should put oil all around the rim here first, just to lubricate it a little bit. I'm guessing I'll be messy enough taking that one off. I'm trying to catch it in this bag here with some, um, with some rags too that uh, I can just use that oil and lubricate the edge. All right, so that came off pretty easily. I have before had to uh, use a screwdriver when it was jammed in there. And, you know, pu uh, puncture it with a screwdriver and a hammer. That way I could use a screwdriver for more torque. But uh, I didn't get that messy at all. So just emptying the other oil, the leftover oil in there, and then I'll go put the new one on. Okay, well, the filter's in. Um, Loosen the cap up there to make sure the oil, any that's in there, comes out. And I did go ahead and take the uh, drain plug off, and I just put a couple of bags down there with some rags, and really didn't even catch that much. There wasn't that much down there. So that was uh, maybe the cleanest oil change ever. Now I'm just going to put some new oil in. This just takes regular SAE 30. SAE 30. And I think this is the same thing, too. So I'm pretty sure it's four quarts. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Put that in. I'll probably use the small one so I can put this old oil in it. Then it's just one gallon, almost four, four liters. Um, the dipstick says it's full. I'm going to just go ahead and run it one more time because it's got a new filter. So I think the filter will soak some up and then check the oil again. If I need to top it off with a little more than I will. Started up good, sounded good, 